YouTube, this is me, Firesnap, and today I'm going to show you a small tutorial on how the new Hopodge Capture software works with the skip back function. So you basically turn it on, I'll have some uh, background here for you guys, some Halo Wars in, in case you don't know what game it is. Um, you can change how many minutes you want to record in the past. Uh, it's really basically like um, how Elgato had it, has it. But they have it a little bit more advanced. We have a little... can't really preview what we have recorded, but you gotta kind of remember it yourself. So if I set this to 10 minutes, and I've had this software running for 5 minutes, it can't record what has gone behind that. So you have to have the software running for that duration of time. So for example, if I name this now Halo Wars, and I press record, you guys will now see here in the stop that it has only recorded for 1 minute and 33 seconds even though I set it for 10 minutes so that means I've only had the software running for one and a half minutes so that is how it works in uh, basics so now that I've started to record that uh, some people have experienced some audio issues so if you're not certain that um, uh, you want those audio issues then you should not do this so <clears throat> like two or three people have experienced it and I think I can hear it now it's sort of like lag but that might be because I have another software running in the background and um, so I have a mic off here uh, because otherwise it would make a double uh, layer of microphones and I don't want that because I have the background here so that you guys can hear what is happening <clears throat> and I hope it doesn't get too weird out because I have two softwares running at the same time um, so you can as usual have the game audio mic audio uh, video in the only thing when you have the skip back on is you cannot use MP4. You have to use either TS or M2TS. Uh, what I usually use is TS uh, because that's standard and I have not played around with it. I think I tried MP4 once but it did not work with um, Sony Vegas. At least not for me. I, th I may have to um, convert it over to a better MP4 or um, some other specs that I'm not even checked out. So the usual uh, screenshot is here. So it says that it has saved it. Uh, I'll stop the recording and you guys can see the, this in the background. Um, <clears throat> some advanced settings, you guys know these. Uh, mic audio boost, use multiple audio tracks for recordings with USB mic. Uh, I think a friend of mine, Folly Frog, has done um, a video on this, so if he has, I will put in the link down below or here somewhere, um, so that you guys can check out how that works, because I've not tested it myself. And um, if you guys like to mess around with the audio, for example, the microphone audio is way too loud in comparison to the game audio, but you don't want to lower it too much so that you can't hear the game audio. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that is how it works because of the way uh, it's um, it's men mentioning it. The multiple audio tracks. Um, I think you have to use Audible or some other um, audio software to get it correctly. So here you guys see the current version. This is the beta version, so be careful. Um, these are other settings in case your Xbox One or PS4 has HDCP pass-through. Um, webcam, I've not used, I've tried to use a webcam with this, but I don't think my computer is strong enough. Um, I mean, the graphics card I have is the 690 the GTX and um, i7 uh, processing core. And it doesn't work for me. It's the audio and... Um, no, not the audio, but um, like the camera, it's it's lagging behind and it's choppy. I hope this does not get choppy. That otherwise, I'll have some problems with editing. Um, but other than that, you basically just set it to what you want. Have the software running. Um, I think they said that you can record like past days if you have it running for that long. 
but once you press record, all of those hours that you may have done it just gets crammed into actual gigabytes and that might screw over your PC. I've not tested it for that long but um, see you can have it for an hour uh, I don't remember what they said the max was uh, but it was a really high number so you can have it running for a long time 360 minutes <clears throat> I think you can yeah you can even have it for 6,000 minutes so that is pretty incredible so you can and you can also see how long you had the software running for if you just do that so if I set it to 90 minutes and press record not add a file name I can see that it has been running for three and a half minutes I guess so that is the skip back function turn it off then you can turn it over to mp4 I don't know if that's gonna mess it up uh, it probably did so I'm gonna stop it uh, I don't have much space on my computer left but um, so once you turn it off and on again it resets so you have to kind of be careful of that and I hope I don't get copyright rider because of them reading the background so as you guys can see just turn it off turn back on record oh it just remember it did not do that last time I checked this so that is good actually that's pretty good so just remember either way and I forgot to press stop before I switched it back off and uh, these are pretty regular the hardware acceleration I don't know if that genuinely works for me also you can now have other frames for your face cam uh, I'll probably have a uh, way to do it in the description okay here we go so you guys will see here um, I'll have to try and do this while looking over there because that's my like third screen uh, so it's kinda hard so here is the beta here's where you download it here is the URL I'll probably put that in the description too so here it will say what uh, is new the skip back function that which I've told you guys uh, face cam frame oh here it actually tells you what you need to do so that is pretty cool so you guys can uh, pause the video and look at that otherwise I will just copy paste it into the description too so basically right here uh, the setup for frames in the settings tab you can make your own frame uh, tool just create a PNG with a magenta background okay that's where I screwed up because I had a um, what is it called a see-through ish uh, I don't remember the correct name for it sorry but uh, so magenta is um, the chroma key basically for this I'll turn off the background noise um, so you guys can hear me better probably some other things in the background too and um, <clears throat> while I enjoy some uh, Halo Wars in the background here. Um, I've gotten called a, um, what's it called? A support from Hopodge? No, I'm not. Um, so we'll skip back here. So that is where you can download it. Um, it will also come up with uh, bug fixes, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> in the newest light patch, uh, the bitrate wasn't being set when low resource tick box enabled, even if webcam webcam wasn't on. Uh, 5.1 capture wasn't working in uh, a beta version, I believe. Uh, a new driver to fix potential issues for recording made at 14 megabits per second. So that is where you change here. I have mine set to 7 for some reason. I usually have it at 7, 9 or 8. A little bit higher so that the quality gets better. Now it will just restart. Uh, this is a thing that's usually happening with uh, the Rockets. Not with the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition, which I had before, until it broke down, unfortunately. Um, so, this is like the basics of it. And uh, I hope you guys can use a lot of these features for what you need. Enjoy recording!